out there one time when I was little and I just like fell in love with like the wide open spaces and the land and and so when I left school I was like I'm, I got in my car and I drove to Wyoming and I got a job on this ranch. When I, when I was working I was also writing about my experiences and and I would just send the articles randomly to like newspapers and they bought them but then the bank wouldn't give me the loan like they turned me down three times so you know I was like you know I'd love to do it but they're not and so the owners decided they own or finance it they took a chance on me uh, they, they accepted me into this program and um, to write for a few years and so that's what brought me here and so I started when I was in the program I started working for this lady out in Elgin I went around to these stores and I'm like, does anybody need somebody to break horses? Because that's what I, you know, love to do. I started breaking horses for people here and just started, fell in love with this place. And I was like, oh man, I just would love to live somewhere like this someday. I was like, but first of all, you know, these people would never sell this place. And, you know, it was just like a big dream. I just would like, I'd like, I'd come back, like I love to ride at night and I would just be riding back at night and I'd be like, God, I'd love to live here someday. And like... <laughs> You know, it was a total fantasy because I had no money, you know, no money and no, I was thinking they would never, why would they ever sell this place? It is amazing, like, if you just have a dream and you keep it in your mind, like, what can happen? I mean, don't let people tell you you can't do something because my parents disowned me when I bought this place. They're like, you're crazy. You can't do I was able to build up the business and then, like, you know, it took years. But you just got to kind of keep forging ahead. And same thing with this vision to save this land. This big sign went up that that whole land was going to be developed. Like it turned into a housing development with 400 homes. The ranch like right across from me. And, and most people would just be like, oh no. Like at first I was just like, oh no. Like, and, and it's like what's done is done. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's too late. But I just couldn't stand to see that become a housing development. So I got in my car and I drove down there and I'm like, I'm, I called the developer and I'm like, you know, can this be stopped? You know, like, and he, he was like, yeah, if you have a million dollars, which I <laughs> did not. And so I was like, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I was like, and, and I called everyone I know and called people I didn't know. And I was just saying, like, does anybody, you know, want to buy a ranch in, in, in Texas? We might be able to get this grant that would help pay for part of it. I found somebody who was willing to buy it and try to get this grant, which, and we both ended up trying, we did it together to try to preserve, like, 500 acres, um, this grant through the NRCS, which is through the federal government. And... Um, and we were able to preserve these two pieces of land. That's so the Soil I got Conservation it. Service. Huh? Right? Soil Conservation the, Service. The NR, yeah, the National Natural Resources Conservation Service, the NRCS. All the other neighbors about it, and any anyone who will listen, like Elizabeth and Kevin, <laughs> and all these people, you know, have helped us um, try to preserve this land out here before it all becomes, you know, one big housing development. Because there's amazing wildlife here that's the, the thing I mean I you know so I'm circling back to that five-year-old girl that I was that just loved the wildlife and I want a place for the wildlife to go like I love we have mountain lions out here what yeah we have them at Hornsby Men by our office too she's like what I don't think so <laughs> um we have bobcats we have there you know I mean all sorts of like fox and all sorts of cool birds, like um, like the a million woodpecker <laughs> that's rare here. Um, painted buntings. Do you guys see those? We do. Those? 